understand. This one is bound to me. The fuck? They did my Arthas? Well, I guess they didn't ruin him, but... Bro, this is Arthas? Is at an end. That's what you thought, bitch! Arthas. My child. I watched with pride as you grew into a weapon. Of righteousness. And I know you will show restraint when exercising your great power. Now that's my fucking boy! Alright, Wrath of the Lich King was one of the most beloved expansions. It's also the one where people may argue, oh, this is the one where the casuals won. When the expansion came out, it sold 2.8 million copies in 24 hours. That's a lot. It was a huge thing. Arthas was a big deal. We all know, and I'm here to hype you back up because I'm hyped for when Wrath comes back out. So I wanted to talk about a couple of the things that will be releasing come Wrath of the Lich King Classic, which they better do. Which I don't know when they're going to do, but it could be sooner, maybe even this year. One of the first things I want to bring up is dual spec. Dual spec is one of the things that allows you to pay a hefty shit ton of gold to activate a second template, essentially. This second template was a it, it was just such a saving grace for a lot of people because you don't have to go back and forth anymore between your PvP spec, your PvE spec, or your tank spec if you're a paladin like your tank spec and your DPS spec, or if you're a death knight, your DPS spec and your DPS spec. You know, you don't have to worry about that anymore. You could just pay your large sum of gold and you can switch between the two it's a great little addition well little addition it was a big addition great big addition that i'm going to enjoy i really hope that in the next season of mastery or if they ever decide to do like uh, a season that goes through all three expansions in a set amount of time i would love to see dual spec in from the beginning to allow me the ability to go between pvp and pve in the game because i'm a big pveer but i do like to dabble in pvp it would be really nice to you know do both the next thing i want to bring up is a new profession inscription i completely forgot about inscription i don't know about you guys but inscription was one of those things that i never really thought of and i didn't think of glyphs but i knew of glyphs like you remember them but you just kind of superficially remember glyphs were really cool though there were ways for you to customize your your skills and your spells and things like that to do wacky new things the only problem is people min maxed anyway you found the best one for your build and you just put that in inscription was the one to make these glyphs on top of that they made things called vellums these vellums were cool they were kick-ass they were for enchanters you could now trade enchants enchanters loved inscription becoming a thing and i can't wait to see how insane the prices are going to be for some enchants that go up on the market the next thing that I want to talk about that they added was heirlooms. Heirlooms were a way for your end game character to find a benefit for your alts, a way to level them up faster. I remember when heirlooms first came out, they they were really cool, but I didn't have an end game person yet. And when I was leveling up an alt just for fun, because I was a dumb kid, uh, sometimes I went into BGs and they would just kick my ass before the death knight you know and if they were death knights you were just done it, you know don't try it. death knights would just kill you but heirlooms were really interesting because they added i think they only had a chest piece shoulder trinkets and weapons if i'm not mistaken uh they increased xp they leveled with you it was great the only problem is you had to remember which alt they were on because you had to mail them from alt to alt to alt depending on what you were doing 
The next thing I want to talk about is the Death Knight. How could we not talk about the Death Knight? The bringer of death, the necromatic warrior, the knight fallen and risen again to enact pain and suffering amongst the living. Damn, bro, that's fucking edgy. Oh, I love Death Knights. I love everything about them. The only thing is, I played a lot of Death Knight back in Wrath of the Lich King, and my alt, my main alt, will be a death knight i am going to play unholy i can't wait i love the bone shield the the different diseases you wield it, you really feel like a necromancer when you play a death knight and i am excited they're op as hell but it's not going to be my main my main is going to be a prop paladin because i actually have been really enjoying myself with paladin so my main ult will be this death knight and it's going to be a lot a lot of fun the amount of raids that are being added to are great from 10 man raids 25 man raids heroics of the same raid we're going to have a lot of new things uh include the chamber of aspects with the obsidian and ruby sanctum i was looking up they actually said they wanted to bring out if you look here at the chamber of aspects you see that they say, designed to have various encounters with all five dragon flights. Only two have been implemented so far. It seems they wanted the Chamber of Aspects to be full of more dungeons or raids. It's sad we couldn't get that. But we have also the Eye of Eternity. Ulduar is coming back. One of the best raids that we can remember. Trial of the Crusader. ICC. Nax makes a resurgence. And in patch 3.2.2... They had a Nixia's Lair. Honor of their 5th anniversary in patch 3.2.2, they added a Nixia's Lair as a 10 and 25 man raid. And they had different gear for level 80s to get when they did them. With new mechanics, but keeping the classic feel. I wonder how they're going to deal with that. One thing that makes me sad, though, is the mega server problem. We all know it was going to be brought up. If you look at ironforge.pro, you'll see here that there is quite a mega server problem. Grobulus isn't too bad. Firemall is not too bad. It's actually mostly Alliance. Um, but I am on Benediction. So Benediction, Ferlina, Gehennis. How will we deal with Winter Grasp? Winter Grasp is a neat PvP addition with some PvE elements as well. I'm really excited for it. The only thing that bugs me is I don't know how these mega servers are going to handle not being able to do a, a one of the raids. If you're a returning player and you chose alliance or horde on one of these mega servers and it just completely died it would be very rare that you actually will own winter grasp so i wish you the best of luck i hope blizzard thinks of something they can do for that these are the things that i'm looking forward to and a little worried about with wrath of the lich king classic i'm really hyped i can't wait to get back into it i wasn't a wrath baby but wrath was one of the times that i started to actually understand the game. I was in school when I started playing and I, I think I was in like middle school. You have no idea what you're doing. But when Wrath came out, I started to really understand. What are things that you're looking forward to that are coming in Wrath of the Lich King? What classes are you gonna play? And what do you think about the Death Knight? Are you going to be maining one? If you like this video, don't forget to like, share, comment, subscribe, anything to really boost that YouTube algorithm. I'm really excited about Wrath of the Lich King. It's one of my favorite expansions. Yeah, I like TBC and I've been getting back into it, but Wrath is when I really had fun. Have a great one, everyone, and I hope to see you in the Northern Battle against the Scourge.